In this video we're going to show some of the different ways that we can utilize uh, similar commands in the Open Roads tools that act like the edit feature point surface editing tools in native inroads. Uh, we're going to do this in two different ways. Uh, we have a terrain model uh, and I have existing features uh, that represent a wall. So we have added these features in. Uh, they were drawn in 2D. Uh, in, in the 2D, we then created a profile. Um, so this is the profile of this element. And as you can see, the, um, we have already added these features into the terrain. So our surface grade line is the same as our profile uh, for that element. So we can make edits uh, in, in the 2D. Uh, so I'm just going to come out and you can see that if I just drag this handler and you can see that it expands our triangles you can see in, in our 3d model it dynamically makes those changes so we can move these elements around uh, place them anywhere they need to be um, we can also do this to the vertical so I'm going to come in here to the profile and once I get on the profile for that element I can pick up this uh, this manipulator on this profile move it up in elevation and you see our elevations adjust uh, so I can come in and I can type in if I need this to be at an elevation of 290 I can just type that in and that gives us our elevation 290 for that element so this was a 2D element that we created and then we created a profile of that element um, making sure that we did not create any rules to the terrain elements because then once we added that element into the terrain we do not need it ruled to the terrain or we would try to create a recursive constraint and it wouldn't allow us to import that feature now we can also do this in the 3d space so if I place a 3d line string I'm gonna I'm gonna get to my top view okay, and I'm gonna set my active Z to 287 um, it's just we're gonna make it 290 and we're gonna set it for this view Okay, then I'm going to just come in to MicroStation and I'm going to draw a smart line. And I'm just going to create a, a shape. And if we do a snap, you can see our Z for, our, for this element is 290. So this is a 3D element. I'm going to import this into the terrain model by adding it to the terrain. Select the terrain, select the element, and reset. Okay, select the break line. And you'll see that it added in our feature into this terrain. Okay, so we can also make edits to this element. So we can just use the element information inside of MicroStation. Uh, I can come into the segments. I can set the elevation. I can change it to 300. Let me, before I make this change, I'm going to rotate. Let's rotate our, rotate our 3D view. So we can see these changes happen. So 300, hit enter, and you see it raises up our pad. Uh, we can also edit just individual vertices. Okay, we can pick handlers, move them. Uh, it automatically updates our terrain. We can come into our segments. We can edit the start and end points of our segments. So we have our X, Y, and Z points. Um, so I want to move one into the pad. I want to set it. Uh, and create a slope on it. So we're going to set that to 290. And then for the end point, we're also going to have 290. Okay, so now we've created a pad with a slope. So you can see that we can use the MicroStation elements because the terrain model is ruled to those elements. So we can just use the, the handlers, manipulators uh, in 3D space as well, uh, as well as making edits to horizontal elements with an associated profile.